Yesterday was New Comic Book Day, so let's go ahead and take a look at my top 10 FOC comic picks for Final Order Cutoff due next Monday, November 20th, 2023. If you see any of these DC books that you like in here and you want to pick those up, you're going to make sure to get those orders in by end of day Sunday, November 19th, 2023. I did want to remind you I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video. If you want to support the channel and leave a message, I will read it in the next video. But without further ado, let's get started. Kicking things off is somewhat of an honorable mention. We have Joker, Harley Quinn, Uncovered number one. This is a one shot and this is the Cover D Alex Ross foil variant. There is a trade with some trade dress on there, but this is really the one that everybody's going to want. So it looks like it's just a reprinting of the best sold out Joker and Harley Quinn Uncovered editions. Uh, apparently there's some secret surprises. Art by Stan Lee. Or Stan, Stan Art by Stanley, Art Germ, uh, Warren Lau, Derek Chu, um, and others. And if you wanted to go ahead and revel in some of their art about Joker and Harley Quinn, this would be something that you'd be interested in. But there's really no value other than, you know, if you want it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get into number 10 is going to be uh pair of facsimiles and that is the first one is batman 406 the facsimile edition and it is year one this is the part three and it actually did just have a new high um and it, in september a 9.8 direct edition sold for 125 uh so this it's I don't know honestly why it would be spiking, but uh, it did, you know, have like a recent high, and this is the facsimile of it. And also, if you're just looking to get all those reprints of the year one, I think next week is going to be the facsim or the FOC for the year one part four. So that might be something you want to keep an eye on if you're a big Batman fan. But the second sort of number ten is uh, facsimile is going to be this giant size. Superstars number one facsimile edition and this one is actually a battle between Hulk and the thing and I know Hulk now is kind of you know the angrier he gets the stronger he gets and all that so the more the thing would beat up on him the stronger he'd get he would just demolish him nowadays but back then it really was you know a thing of who would win between the thing and the Hulk and this is a, a really fun old school story, so I don't know if it's worth it for $7, but for some people it might be, for me it's just not. And number 9, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 41, this is strictly just the cover buy, I like the Disney What If variants, that's, you know, the Disney 100, so this is uh, a, um, ver uh, re not a reprint. Uh, an homage to, I believe, Avengers 1. Um, so you got Iron Mini, you got Donald Duck as the Hulk. That's pretty, uh, pretty apt. And then you have uh, Goofy as Thor, which is pretty interesting. Um, oh, there's is Mickey Ant-Man and Daisy's Wasp. That's kind of cool. Alright, uh, and then of course Pete is Loki. Alright, so moving on to number 8. We have Fall of X, number 1. And this one doesn't have like incredible spec value or anything like that, but it it is a it's a limited series and it concludes the Krakoan Age story that began back in 2019 with the powers of X, uh, powers of ten and the House of X. Um, powers of ten, powers of X, House of ten. Yeah, it's powers of ten and House of X. I'm pretty sure. Um, or as I call it, Hox Pox. <laughs> uh, I, I have that whole run. It was really fun, really good. I hope they go to that uh, in the MCU. They're probably not going to, based on some of the leaks and stuff I've seen and heard. But um, anyway, yeah, just they're wrapping, or not wrapping it up, but I think they might be kind of wrapping up some loose ends to it and also help building into the future. But there we go. Now, moving on to number seven, 
We have Spider-Man, sorry, Spider-Woman number two, the David Nakayama Ski Chalet variant. We've had other Ski Chalet variants in my FOC videos, but come on, tell me this isn't the best one. This one's incredible. It's actually the very last book in my All of December that's going to be coming out. Um, for and This one is the week of December 27th, and it's the last book I have on there. Uh, it is, yeah, it is really fun to have that on there. Um, so, and that's, you bet that's going to be in the thumbnail for this video and that video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's bit, just strictly a cover buy. But alright, let's move on to number six. And there we have Star Wars Visions number one. And this one is actually the origin of the Ronin. So there's not much to that other than, you know, the, but there is a new. Um, so it's the Ronin from the first season of the Disney Plus show. And I know there's a Peach Momoko one coming out. And. The special thing about hers is it's the first original story in um, of Visions in comic book form. Any other comic book of Visions comes from that Disney Plus show. So that's what sets that Beach Momoko uh, run apart. Or book. I don't know if it's a one shot or a run or what. But anyways, let's move on. And at number five, we have Dawn of DC... Superman, number nine, he's basically getting new armor that Lex Luthor helped develop. So that's basically all there is to this one. Just new armor for Superman. And at number four, we have Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. And right here, introducing the Marvel Zombie of 2099. He lives, he strikes, and no spider can hold him. So there you go, got a new character right here well, let's move along to number three and that is star wars darth vader number 42 and this is the first appearance of enric pride and he happens to be a veteran of the imperial military who rose through the first order's ranks during the reign of supreme leader snoke who we now know was just palpatine really so uh so this book actually says it comes out um, January 2, 2024, and same with that Visions one that was out, or that was on this list, and same with the uh, Fall of the House of X and Powers of Ten. Um, but I'm really, sorry, you can hear it in my voice. It kind of took the wind out of my sails, thinking that, I guess, I mean, I've re I read it prepping for the video, but it didn't click that they're pushing the Marvel comics to the, towards the sequel trilogy. Although, Rose through the First Order ranks during the reign of Supreme Leader Snoke, so he's a veteran who rose back then. So is this in the future? So is this going to be tied to the Rey movie that's coming out? Uh, where that will be way past the events of the First Order and Snoke. Um, and also, if you're talking about Snoke in the past tense like that, how do people not know that Snoke was just Palpatine? Do they just think Snoke was his own thing and that he died and the, the First Order was kind of trying to keep it under wraps that it was Palpatine doing Snoke? Anyway, you can see how that awful writing puts all of these holes in. Um, so, anyway, because, you know, somehow Palpatine returned. Anyway, number two. I'm not um, bitter at all. <laughs> I just love Star Wars so much. I'm so sad about what they did to it. Anyway, um, <laughs> number two is uh, Green Lantern War Journal number four. And this is my Green Lantern, Jon Stewart. This is the guy I grew up with. And he has um, a new... Um, I think it's for him. I don't... Sorry, I was trying to read this real quick. Um, yeah, John... Okay, so he's forging a new Green Lantern ring. So it's the debut of a new Green Lantern ring and armor. But I... Sh well, I don't know. You still, It still isn't super clear on here. Like, yeah, what if he makes it? But what if someone else gets it? Um, it, it is guest starring Steel, so that's pretty cool. But 
I really hope this is the beginning of a uh, of a new sort of take. I know it's number four, it's not number one, but I hope from here on out with Jon Stewart, with the new ring and all that stuff, that this gets pretty good and pretty fun. Um, yeah, so anyways, number one is Timeless, number one, and it is... Uh, it says, Behold the Future of the Marvel Universe, featuring the debut of two new Marvel icons. So, you have the Moon Knight unending, and then you have, uh, it's just Power Man. Um, but it says he's the final living superhero, and I wonder if that's because his, but it looks like he has different powers now, so I don't know what's going on. But I think it's awesome, and I especially love this um, Alex Ross, Timeless, look at that, I collected a few of these, um, I could just sit here and look at this all day, I should have just made that thumbnail, maybe I will make that the thumbnail, I don't know, that is way too cool, I need that poster actually is what I need, anyways, uh, that's my number one, Timeless number one for Vinyl Order's Cutoff, due next Monday, November 20th, 2023. All right, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. And my top 10 FOC comic picks for Final Order Cutoff due next Monday, 11 20, 2023. Or for DC Lunar, it's going to be next Sunday, November 19th, 2023. This may be my last video until after Thanksgiving. I am going to Disneyland, and I'm actually going to Disneyland for Thanksgiving. So I'm really excited for that. So if I can't get any uh, content up and out, I hope you guys have a great, safe, and happy Thanksgiving with your friends and loved ones. And if you can't be with them, I still hope you have a great day. I know when I was in college, I actually spent Thanksgiving uh, by myself. And sometimes that's just how life goes. But you can't let it get you down. Uh, you know, your phones work. We at least got videos and FaceTimes nowadays. So, hope you all find some way to make that day special for you. Um, and if you can't find it with anyone else, you know... Be awesome yourself. Read some comic books, you know? All right, well, I guess I'll just let you guys go. I'm going to put a couple videos here if you want to check out some more content. Thanks again, as always, especially to those of you who made it to the end of the video. And, as always, until next time...